Welcome to Matera. Matera is an ancient city and it is the third oldest city in the world. Located in southern Italy, it is about an hour's drive from the city of Bari. This picturesque city is often appreciated for its architecture and tourists flock here for the amazing cave-like houses and mountainside dwellings, which is just unique to Matera. And the James Bond movie was filmed here. No time to die, if I remember correctly. However, today we are here for the famous Orchetti, an ear-shaped pasta usually coupled with meatballs. We are here in the small, beautiful city of Matera, just a few kilometers outside of Bari. And what a magnificent looking place. It is aesthetic to the eyes and it also has really good Orchetti pasta. So we're gonna go on a hunt for some of the best Oshetti pasta here and let's check out some of the street eats as well. We're at Redola, just a bar cafe on the main strip in Matera and a bit hungry so thought I'll order my first lasagna. So look it's in a nice little pot and they even gave you a bit of bread to go with the lasagna. Right. This thing is piping hot. I just touched it and it burnt me. <laughs> and go in it natural Whoa. so on the top it looks slightly dried out but there's a bit of cheese there okay first go hot <laughs> oh. that's a unique lasagna like Usually lasagnas are quite cheesy and tomato-y, but this one, it's got like a light flavour. Really good. Look at that. Mm. Very tasty, it's like nice and gooey texture. So I'm gonna try this with some bread. I've never had lasagna and bread. First for everything, chuck it on there. It's like I made a small focaccia. Mm. Put it without the bread. <laughs> it's just become just one giant carb that you're eating. <laughs> Honestly, that lasagna was just average. I think it wasn't fresh, but for a cafe that's just right on the main front, it wasn't bad. Matera is such a beautiful place that you just don't mind sitting there and just eating whatever. So after that, we strolled around Matera and it's like a beautiful labyrinth. You can crawl into any sort of side street and come out at a stunning view and that's a feast to the eyes. And not long after, we stumble across a little takeaway pasta place. It's actually a really good lemonade. We're at a fast food kind of pasta place. It's called Pasta Gianda. And uh, you can just order from the front. We've got a bunch of pastas, almost like it's customizable. You can add things on there. But I'm gonna go for the Orichetti. I know it's not gonna be as authentic as a restaurant based one where you sit down and you've got uh, the chefs in the back. But I think this is a good step because it's a cheap eat. And I think when we're here in these places, there's a lot of expensive restaurants, but a cheap eat like here, I think is nothing this point. Here we go. Look at that, that's a substantial amount. Compared to the lasagna we had just then, this was eight euros. So she said to mix it together. Look at that. We just ordered, uh, sausage and tomato base. I find it interesting here they have bread for your pasta dishes. Mm. If, a lot of carbs. If this wasn't already a lot of carbs. Mm. But what I find surprising is the Italians are actually quite in shape. There's not many overweight Italians. Okay, let's go in for the first bite. Oh, you can see mushroom in there and the meatballs all broken up or the sausage all broken up all right this is a good piece mm. 
It's actually quite tasty. So pasta's al dente. Flavors of tomato and meatballs. Very distinct celery kind of flavor. It's good. Mm. I'm kind of close to oregano in there as well. Perfect cheap beef. After all that pasta, we were ready to check into our accommodation and I thought I'll show you guys the beautiful cave-like dwelling that we're staying in and it was absolutely aesthetic. And right outside our accommodation, there was a beautiful cave-like restaurant which we couldn't resist for some dinner. dinner time in Matera and we are at La Grotta El Gusto and I've ordered the specialty in Matera which is the Orchetti and we had an earlier cheap eat and I can't wait to try something that's a bit more up class you know so ordered some meat as well I haven't had meat and in Italians they don't have much meat so I'm really missing that and ordered a uh, dessert too so looking forward to it looks like a really nice place and um, dinner service has just started most places don't open their dinner service until about 7 7 30 so this one here they open quite early and yeah i'm hungry and ready so i've got this lovely basket of bread and uh, i think it would be really suited for the orchetti which has a lot of sauce i'm hoping um, this is also really unique where it's self-service. So you get a buzzer and you go grab your meal. I was given a tray before to bring all this out myself. So I don't mind it, but something different. Look at this. <laughs> Had to go through a few obstacles. So I think if you're wearing high heels and you're taking this down, be careful. <laughs> but look at that. Wow. Oh, I'm so excited to have this Orochetti because I had something earlier today which resembles this, but this is now at a restaurant. Okay, that's perfect. It's got some herbs all over, got some basil. Oh, the aromas. Mmm. Instantly. Mmm. I think that's like pork, veal, but the way this is cooked, it's much more al dente. Mm. Amazing. All right, I ordered the sliced beef with mushrooms. And look at that, that is just cooked to perfection. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to get a nice little corner piece with, of course, getting some of that mushroom on there. I've been hanging out for some meat. Mmm. It's nice and salty. I don't know what they've garnished it with. Maybe some like dried chili or dried capsicum or something like that. But man, that is so tasty and that's what I've been looking for. Yum. I have this obsession with sausage ever since the last place in Bari. They had really good sausage there. That's a meaty sausage. You can see all the ingredients ingrained in that sausage. It's got a bit of chili as well, which I love. Mm. Amazing sausage. That fennel in there, very powerful. But the saltiness of that sausage, wow. Amazing meal. Mm. I have to going for the steak as well because I've been missing some meat. Mm. 
Alright, it's scored so nicely, it's a bit of a crunch. That's a yummy steak. Oh, so I've discovered a cheat code. If you have the oregano in there, the basil in there. Mm. Flavor, flavor enhanced by tenfold. It's so fresh. That's a cheat code. Of the tray anymore. It would be pretty comical to bring this size <laughs> on a giant tray. Look at that! My first panna cotta in Italy, and look at that, has chili flakes on it, I think. I love chili, even on dessert. Oh yeah! Look at that aesthetic slice. Look in there. So creamy. Mm. It's almost like a really um, luxurious cheese. Oh, I'm going for a bit of that chili. Mm. Mm. Just gives that that slight hint of spiciness. That's really good. Wow. So dinner has ended and Matera food tour has ended as well. But if you have the time, do take a look at the city at night after dinner. It is absolutely beautiful. Get some gelato, sit and people watch. Man, this is a feast for the eyes.